What up, YouTube? -y? Denny in Saigon. My name's Denny. I'm an American, but I live in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam is in Asia, in case you don't know, Southeast Asia. And uh, so I'm on the other side of the world from the USA, almost directly, except for I'm uh, closer to the equator. Uh, I'm actually from the state of Indiana. It's, uh, it's near Chicago, basically between Chicago and New York, if you're unfamiliar with it. Um, I don't think very many Vietnamese are watching my videos, but maybe some. Uh, you are watching my videos, I appreciate it. Uh, I like to just kind of ride around and rant and uh, make videos. I don't know, I'm, I'm talking to myself basically, but some people are watching. Uh, I appreciate the comments that people are leaving. Uh, it's very cool. And I agree with every, everything that you guys are saying. I've been talking about how uh, difficult it's going to be for me to transition back to the west from the east. And uh, the lot one, I, I agree with everything that you said in your comments. It's going to be a lot harder uh, for me in the west, there's no doubt. If I go back to Indiana, I can actually get a cheap room for probably about 600 a month. Uh, plus utilities and all that. I, I hate paying utilities in the West. They soak you. Uh, I have to go back and pay to eat my home and all that. I don't know if I told you this story before, if you caught it, but you know, uh, my hometown, one time a few years ago, uh, I was, uh, I rented an apartment above my brother's uh, tattoo shop and the first full month, the, the utility company sent me a thousand dollar water bill. My first full water bill was a thousand damn dollars all because my toilet was running a little bit you know it was a bit, it was a trickle it was trickling and i did shut it off quite a few times but a couple times i missed it and went to work for 12 hours and that was the result a thousand dollar water bill you know I, I can't handle that i really don't want to deal with that uh, living in the west man it can be rough if you have a particularly rough winter it's going to cost you a lot to heat you may miss some work because of the weather and all this. I always hated that. Especially February. February is the worst month in Indiana. It's, it's terrible. I'm always complaining in February in Indiana. Um, you know, in contrast, I'm super happy here in Vietnam. I am very happy. I love it. It's easy to live here. It's really cheap. I paid my rent yesterday, $150 for a small room in a big hotel here in District uh, in District 12. I'm actually in Govap right now, but it's near here. Uh, 150 bucks a month, man. <laughs> you can't beat that. It's real hard to beat that, isn't it? Uh, I am, uh, you know, I'm teaching about 32 hours a week, and I'm, I'm pulling down roughly, roughly a couple thousand dollars a month, which has allowed me to pay my support and save some money. Uh, as long as I don't blow it all on things, uh, I do send my kids money and stuff. Sometimes they need help paying their bills too. And, uh, you know, that's the way it goes, right? I borrow a lot of money off my folks over the years. And, uh, yeah, life is not easy. Did you see that beautiful lady over there? I see her every day. Every day that I come this way. Actually, I three days a week. I shouldn't say every day. You see that? They play games with cars here they get real close to the oncoming traffic and sometimes those cars cross the center line and stuff and it's it's scary i see people come inches i'll say inches because i'm american but really centimeters from death every every time i drive i don't like it uh, really the only the only thing i don't like about vietnam is the traffic and uh you know you can survive it uh, probably going to increase your risk of dying in traffic is all and uh, you can, if you're careful you could probably survive it okay. careful and a little lucky uh, I know some people think about coming here it's it's easy to transition from west to east it's easy and uh, the story is true I came from Cambodia to Vietnam with about $20 in my pocket 
found a job teaching the very next day got on Facebook and applied and put my you know my CV on Facebook and I was teaching by two o'clock public schools getting paid right away and stuff I survived uh, started out in a hostel right you can rent a hostel over on uh, walking street for about four dollars a night you know uh, Vietnam is easy compared to the West uh, when I went out to San Diego I was out in San Diego for a while a few years ago and um, it was outrageous man that that was crazy I think I was paying $800 a month for a bed in a garage uh, lived in my van for a while but the hills you know it's flat in Indiana and the hills out west killed my van pretty much it was an old van anyways uh, ended up taking the bus back to Indiana I hate taking the bus. I really do. We took a bus the other day to Phnom Penh. And I got stuck on the other side of the border. Fortunately, uh, it was, we had enough time to catch the last bus. We could have stayed there at the border town, uh, Muck Bai. There's casinos there and stuff. I, I don't really know anything about Muck Bai. But I know Phnom Penh. And I know Saigon by now. Uh, I'd like to go live in uh, Bangkok for a while, but, you know, I'd need money to do that. That's probably not going to happen at this point in my life, but... Uh, coming back to live in Indiana is, uh, is not a pleasant thought, but here's the thing. I really miss my family. Uh, I'd like to fly my kids here to see me. A couple of them won't fly here to see me, probably no matter what. And I can't afford to fly my whole family here. You know, I'd like to see my dad. It's my adopted dad, but I love him. I miss him. I'd like to see my mom. I'd like to see my stepdad. I got, you know, uncles and aunts and stuff. I, I got family I'd like to see real bad. Of course, I got my grandsons. I miss them real bad. I haven't met my youngest grandson yet, so... Uh, I'm going to go home for at least the summer. If I, uh, if I can't make it, yeah, I'm going to jump on a plane and fly back here. Get my old jobs back, probably, and start teaching again. I think I can maybe maybe teach for another 10 years here you know or i could go back to the usa and drive a truck for 10 years and uh, save all that money live in my truck and save the money of course i'm not gonna be with my kids if i do that we'll be in indiana I'll be out running around so yeah yeah <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go teach now. I'm going to go sit at the coffee shop for about an hour. I'm going to go teach uh, evening classes. Uh, probably, a, I have a, one class for two hours. I don't really like that, but it is what it is. I'll have an assistant, hopefully. And uh, it won't be too bad. I'm anxious to get back to this uh, language center. I love this language center. It's a very nice place to work for me. They pay me on time every week, uh, pretty much on time. Once in a while, they pay me a day late, it's no problem. I know they'll pay me, I trust them. And uh, so I got one monthly check and one weekly check. I'm living off the weekly and saving the monthly mostly. Getting my back support and all that. Uh, in the West, the West is the best, so they say. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> but very cute. Uh, I guarantee if you come here to teach, you will fall in love with the kids. They are adorable. I love them very much. But my little students at the preschool I just left, uh, they're, just, they're just real beautiful little kids. They love to hug me. They grab my tie and pull me down and hug me and kiss me. <laughs> I really love that. Uh, sometimes it's time to leave the class. I have a hard time standing up because they like surround me and stuff and hugging me and all that. Uh, it's nice, and the parents are all very kind to me. One time, a guy saw me sitting at a coffee shop, bought me a coffee because he recognized me as a type just teaching his kids somewhere. Yeah. This traffic is, uh, you know, Google. If you come here, uh, Google is going to be uh, is a pain in the butt here. Google's going to route you all around the city if you just want to go around the block, probably. 
when I was going to Mach Bai the other day, there's a stretch of a highway. It's about 12 kilometers uh, that you can go down. It's just straight highway, and the whole time Google's trying to route you off of that highway into it like a pretzel. It's uh, it's crazy. It's gonna be a minute before AI is running the world, right? But we shall see. Um, anyways, uh, I'm almost here to the coffee shop. I'm gonna stop up here and get a get another Sprite. That's a good idea. This is a busy highway right here. I always wait for the cars and then I kind of sneak across here. I think I can make it. There we go. You go and they stop and they go and you stop and that's how it works. Kind of like driving around a big parking lot. Anyways, uh, my name's Denny, and uh, thanks for watching my video. I really hope you have a nice day.